Welcome to Living Local with Lori. Hi, welcome to Living Local with Lori. Lori is a top producing real estate agent in the area, and she's starting this interview series where she will be interviewing local experts to share their knowledge with her friends, clients, family, and as a way to cross market each other's business. So I'm not Lori, but I get the pleasure of interviewing Lori today. So hi, Lori. Thanks for letting me do this. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for getting me to do this, putting me on camera, which you, we all know how much I don't enjoy, but I'm excited for all the people that we are going to be sharing, you know, the different conversations that I'm going to be having over the next few months. So absolutely. Absolutely. So let's get started with you outside of your real estate business. Tell us who you are. What do you do? So I do love real estate. I feel like I do eat, sleep, and dream about it. But um, I do have uh, two daughters, Julia, 14, <clears throat> Amelia, who is 10, and I've been married to Chris for 16 years. I live in Naperville. We've lived here for 14 years. Prior to this, we lived in Wheaton. Um, you know, enjoy time with my family and our new puppy, Dolly Jean. Dolly just had her first birthday, which was so fun to celebrate with her. To say she's not spoiled would be a lie, but we all are enjoying um, the excitement and love of having a dog around. So, yeah, she had quite the fancy cupcake yesterday for her birthday. <laughs> I know. Thanks to uh, another local business, Two Boston's, they do an incredible job of making it really easy to spoil our dogs. So, <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, outside of your family, you're a really involved mom and wife. And what do you do for you? What's your hobby? So my hobby is doing triathlons. I got into that about 14 years ago. My best friend from college inspired me to do the first one, um, even did the whole thing with me. I was just a sprint triathlon. I enjoy having a workout that encompasses a goal at the end, which is a race. And, you know, I'm not really a good swimmer, runner, or biker, but all together, I like, you know, putting them together. I've met the most amazing people doing triathlons. And so I, it's now just very addicting. I get up first thing in the morning, get it out of the way. And it's just a really great way to start my day. So I love that. Now, how many triathlons have you done? A lot of sprints. I don't know exactly how many of those I've done in Olympic triathlon distance. And I've completed three half Ironmans, which, you know, was probably the most amazing feeling completing such a not a physical, but even your mindset has to be there to get across the finish line. My next big goal is to complete a full Ironman. So I hope to accomplish that here in the next year or two. Love that. You will. It'll be great. <laughs> All right. So let's talk real estate. How did you get started in real estate? So growing up, I never really knew exactly what I wanted to do. I just knew I had a passion for really helping people, learning, um, so I went to school, got a business major, um, went into the corporate world, realized it really wasn't for me, um, went back while working full time, got my MBA with a focus on small business management with an emphasis on strategy and negotiations. When I was finishing up that, I met my now husband who was looking for a house and I had so many student loans. The thought of ever owning a house was really not in the picture, but through the experience I had with him finding initially his home, which then turned into our home, I realized what a powerful thing to be able to help people do. It's one of their biggest financial decisions, helping people realize the benefits. And if you're working with the right realtor, how it can be a long-term, really good financial decision. And so I just really enjoy helping people through that process. And I'm proud of the people who um, continue to refer me uh, over and over again to allow me to have this job that I enjoy doing. Love it. I love that. So what's, there's a lot of realtors out there right now. What sets you apart? What makes you different? I think you can't fake caring about what you do. I just really enjoy what I do. I continue to educate myself. All, every opportunity I get from whether it's a real estate class, talking to another real estate team, talking to the different lenders, attorneys, just always knowing what's going on in the industry. I just feel I am more knowledgeable than most. I've experienced more different types of, you know, we won't call them issues, but 
potential problems that can come up. So I'm able to help save my clients and make sure that they get through the process. And, you know, I just am constantly communicating with my clients and making sure they're always well informed about what is going on in the process, helping make sure that they understand that I'm there for them. And I, I act more like a consultant now with all the views people can go online and look, but there's nothing that just looking online is really going to help somebody make a really good decision. So I just, I feel my experience, my passion, and my communication with my clients truly sets me apart from the rest. Absolutely. And this is something you do full time. It's not yeah. a part-time gig for you. Like this is your heart and soul and you are so passionate about it that I know you're, it, it really never stops for you. Yes. So, it I, is a seven day a week, 24 hour a day job, which it has to be when, a, when my client is going through this experience, you know, I need to be there for them. And I am always happy to be there for them. And whenever they say, Lori, I'm so sorry to bother you. I'm like, please, you're never bothering me. I really want to help. And I'm trying even harder to be prepared with making sure that I'm answering the questions even before my clients ask. And that's one of my big 2021 goals is to make sure that my communication is even better than it's ever been to help people just really feel at ease and get through the process as, you know, as smoothly and stress-free as possible. I love that. I know your clients appreciate that as well. Definitely. So in your, you've been a realtor now for about how many years? About 20. So. About 20 years. So in your about 20 years of experience, what has been one of your most memorable clients or sales or experiences in the real estate world? So my first ever client was probably my most memorable because that's what set me up for the success I've had over the years. It taught me um, to really, you know, make sure I was communicating, making good choices for them. Um, and you know, you kept referring me. And so I knew I did a good job. You, you trusted me a couple times with, you know, not only yourself and your family, but, you know, your friends as well. And, you yes. know, it was one of my, uh, years. my first town home. <laughs> yes. You sold us our first town home and we loved it. Loved it. Loved it. In fact, I wanted to keep everything that was in it because I loved it so much. And you were very smart and talked me out of some things that I was like, no, it's fine. And you were like, Lisa, no. <laughs> and it was always making good decisions is important. And, you know, right. I'm, you know, I met, I've messed up. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I have learned a lot from every single client I've helped. So these people who are out there doing it part time, doing it as just a hobby or just got into the business, you just really have to think who it is that you're helping. And again, I helped you buy a townhome and made sure that you knew what you're buying and not overpaying for it in the process, making sure I could get it for you for what you wanted and not, you know, negotiating in bar stools, rugs, pots, pans, and knives. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I am so looking forward to this series. I know you have a lot of great people in your lineup to interview. And so this is, I think, just going to be such a valuable resource for everyone that listens and follows you on your YouTube channel, Living, Lori, Living Local with Lori. So thanks for taking the time with me today. And I look forward to seeing where this goes. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate you putting this all together and setting up all the interviews for us. So I'm excited. So thank you again. Yes. All right. Have a good one. Bye. Also, remember to follow us on Instagram at, at Johannesson Home.